So today we are joined by Tom from 4 Nil, written all over it. Tom, how are you doing, mate? I'm really good. I'm really good. You just said you're getting bored of lockdown and so am I. So um, let's get back to football. Obviously we can't, but <laughs> as soon as it's possible to do so, looking forward to it. Well, it was finally confirmed after the EFL. We've had loads of situations happening and extended playoff the season continuing, null and void. But the playoffs are happening. Wickham, Oxford, Portsmouth and Fleet would make up those four slots. What do you think of the news? Obviously, I think both of us clubs at the start, if you asked us, we wanted to carry on. We were in good form. And I think if you asked Wickham, they would have wanted to end the season. Where do you want the season? Do you want it to carry on or be happy with the playoffs? Um, it's quite nice being being in our situation because if, if it had gone either way, if we'd carried on, I think yeah. we would have been all right towards the end of the season. And now that we've stopped, we've still got a playoff spot. So from from a Pompey perspective, I think we're absolutely fine and we would have been fine either way. Um, from a, a footballing integrity perspective, I think that it's really disappointing that we haven't been able to finish the season. Um, the fact that it's been decided on a mathematical equation is, I don't think, is is the right way that it's been done, personally. But And I think a lot of uh, fans up and down the country will agree. Obviously, yeah. there's self-interest from everyone's decision and Fleetwood will be pleased. And I'll tell you what, Ben, here's a little um, little one for you. We played each other on the 10th yeah. of March yeah. months ago and it was two all on the night and if either of us hadn't, either of us had lost, we wouldn't be in the playoffs right now. We wouldn't have ended up with a playoff spot and exactly. the opportunity to go to Wembley and then on to the championship. So that's, that's the scary thing and that's how fine the margins are. So I, I really feel for clubs like Sunderland and Ipswich and Peterborough who will miss out and obviously Tranmere who will go down with the nine games to go and only a couple of points behind the next place down so I think it, it's disappointing the way it's been decided but it is what it is and we've got to go with it and let's just well for from our perspective and from yours as well we're three games from the championship um, and we'll just see playoffs is always a lottery but I think even more so now because We've had no, well, we have had time to prepare, but we've been out from football for two, two or three months. So I think it'll be interesting. And any team could win it right now, I believe. So yes. we'll have to wait and see, Ben. I agree. And I remember that night because Peter Bray is what's funny about that. They saw that 2 2 as a really good result because they weren't losing ground in anyone. And I remember being 1 0 up and I thought, I said, I said, I went, this won't be like it, Pitch or something. I know Portsmouth will score. Obviously, you've got that crowd. You have got the 12th man. And I've said many times, not only have you got the 12th man, you could possibly take one or two plays from the opposition how they could lose their heads from that intimidating atmosphere. Now, going on to that, I think the sufferer from all of this is Portsmouth, no disrespect, I think you are so reliant on your fan base and how they react. I think, how do you think you're doing in empty Fratton Park? It's a really good question. Um, I'd flip it over to you and say no disrespect to Fleetwood, but I don't think it would matter too much if Wembley was empty to you. But yeah. I, I think I, I, that's just... But for, for us, the, an empty Fratton Park will be a real problem. And all the players know that. And I'm sure the manager knows that. And all the fans know that. That the 12th man, the Fratton faithful, have, have really kind of even when we were in the, the depths of League Two and we were really struggling, I think one of the one of the really important factors of our survival was the fans. The fans saved the club, for example. Yeah. We were minutes from non-existence and then the, the Pompey Supporters Trust managed to salvage what they could out of the football club at the time. So it that that story itself just goes to show how important the fans are to the football club. I think any any fans up and down the country are uh, the focal ingredient to a club's success, but more so for Pompey, the fact that it is an island city and it isn't, it's a one club city and no one, you never walk around the streets of Portsmouth and see people wearing Man United shirts or Liverpool yeah. shirts. It's all, it's all Pompey. So it will be difficult and it's something that the players will have to take into their stride as professionals. And I, I just hope that we can come out in some way and not let it affect us too much. Absolutely. And Another start, obviously, we've heard that Portsmouth have never won a playoff game. Now, I'm a bit, I, I'm a bit wary of these stats. Right, we never won a playoff game. That is a stat. You've, <laughs> ne 
So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm a bit wary of that because I always feel that your look's got to end sometimes. It's like England with a penalty shootout. It's always got to kind of end. And it's like, we, 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 we've only ever won it when we've had one trip there to the new Wembley, won it. And it's kind of like, oh no. So mm-hmm. it's, it is weird, but the four clubs in there, Wickham and Fleetwood have never been in the championship. And kind of the two clubs that have surprised everyone, Wickham more so, Fleetwood, if you do look at our squad, it's very good. Barry Mackay, Glenn Whelan, um, Harry Souter, who are top players in this league. Going on to your game at Oxford as we play Wickham, Oxford are, in my opinion, one of the best teams in the league. How do you think you will do against them? I think we're going to really struggle, if I'm honest, um, especially for the away leg. Just just because, not only because of the situation that we find ourselves in and the fact we haven't been able to play, but because Oxford are, as you say, they're easily one of the best teams in the league. Um yeah, I, th- I think we're going to really struggle. I-, I would predict that we'll scrape it and I, I would have thought that we'll end up at Wembley, but I um, sadly wouldn't be surprised if we don't, to be honest. I think we- we're always good at bottling the playoffs and you just said, and I, was- I wasn't actually surprised when you told me that we've never won a playoff game because it doesn't surprise me. Um, and I-, I hope that's not the same with, because I don't think we've, I think-, I think we'll be okay under Kenny Jacket and I think yeah. our players will pull through and I the, the only thing that worries me is I remember. So the and the one nil defeat at Devon. So we had the first leg was two all at Fratton Park, and we were all high as kites. And then we we travelled down for the second leg a couple of days later. We lost one nil in the ninetieth minute at Home Park, which is a really really tough one to take. And that long drive back through Devon was was, was just dreadful. So I, I'd hate for that to happen. Obviously, we wouldn't have to go to the game. We'd all be in the comfort of our own homes. But. Um, I really hope that that doesn't happen at the Kassan, but I, I can see it, I can envisage it happening. I just hope that it doesn't. If you had to put you under pressure, just finally, score prediction for both legs, so, uh, no, not both legs, both ties, so Oxford versus Portsmouth and Fleetwood versus Wickham. What's the, what's the final going to be? So I reckon it will be a, a Fleetwood Pompey final. Um, I think it, I think, I think so. Um, I, I thought the other. I was thinking the other day that it would be Wickham because Gareth Ainsworth and the just fantastic club that Wickham are, and they've had they had a really good start to the season. Obviously yeah. dropped off a little bit recently. Um, well, not recently now, a while ago now, wasn't it? But you know what I mean. Um, so I reckon we're going to go. Pompey will end up beating Oxford three two after both legs. Um, two 0 at Fratton Park, and then. Yeah, and then and then a tough game with the Kassam, and then Wickham I think will score in their leg at at Wickham, and then at Highbury you'll get a few goals back. Um, we're, we're at we're, we're at home first. You're at home. For, oh, right, that does change things then, Ben. Um, okay, let's go for two 0 in the first game for Fleetwood, and then Wickham will get one back, but you, they won't manage to won't manage to equalise it with two one Fleetwood, and then. Squeaky one um, time. Four 0 at Wembley to Pompey. There you go. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. Uh, no, no, but honestly, I don't know how a final would go because it'll be interesting because I think in the past where you where you've been able to beat us is through Joey when he said you're an average team, when you beat us 1-0. And, and I did think you were at your best that day when you beat us 1-0, if I'm honest. But you were probably one of the best teams in the league at that moment in time. And you beat us 5-2 after the sending off. However, I think now he doesn't do that tactical um, kind of where he gets players to kind of play against him more because he's riled them up. So I think it'd be difficult with you without that. But if... If you do go up, do you think you'll be able to stabilise yourself and stay up? Um, I think we've definitely got the um, got the backing from our owners to do so. I definitely think that some money will be invested in the football club in order to stabilise the position in the Championship. Um, I've always felt that the Championship's where Pompey belong. Um, I, I don't think we're a Premier League team at the minute. Maybe a couple of seasons in the Championship and then we could look at pushing on. I definitely don't think we'll come straight back down um, no. because I think, well, I'm not sure if we'll have enough time to build on a squad, but definitely there will be, if 
this is all premature, Ben, obviously, because we're, we're not even in the championship yet. But say, say we do manage to somehow win the lottery of the playoffs, then we'll, um, we'll capitalise on that win and hopefully we'll go from strength to strength. Um, I would say that I'm, I'm not sure if Kenny Jackett would be our manager in the championship. I would wonder if there'd be a little bit of a rejig there. Um, I know he's had a good record yeah. in the championship, but I, I'm not I'm not sure if he's he's the man to take us up through the leagues. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he'll he'd prove us wrong. But definitely this this season, if I come back to to Kenny Jacket ever so slightly, that if this ends up being a fail and third failed attempt to get up into yeah. the championship, then I think well, there will be a lot of calls for Kenny Jacket to go. Um, probably not from me. I'd like to see that manager take us up to the championship because that's always been his aim to do so um but there will be succumbing pressure i would i would probably expect them to um to end up that kenny jacket will lose his job at portsmouth but saying that we haven't that hasn't happened yet and we're still looking forward to the playoffs and um i reckon you're you're gonna surprise yourselves ben with your performance fleetwood what do you reckon i hope so mate i re I, we've always defied the odds we've always gone one bigger than everyone expected the kind of thing oh you won't be able to manage in the championship and that's been inspirational for us so tom um tom runs a channel called four nil written all over it he goes to a lot of the ports of games gives fans views and and um, it's a really good channel i recommend it how many subscribers are you on the road to now then mate we're on the road to 6k mate very slow and lethargic yeah. road but it's Same we're getting you. there I think I've gained more subscribers in the last 48 hours than you have done in the previous six weeks. So it's not about the impact of football. But Tom, thank you for joining me. And um, his links will be down in the description. Get him to 6K and hopefully another season in League One for you to suffer. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, mate.